new build log let's keep on building and what you see on the screen now is what we aim for today so we add add some extrusions for the bed and some parts some printing some parts and uh, just yesterday i received a packet with extrusions i'm gonna build a new leaking and i'm gonna try to document that uh, while doing it so i also can record build you know uh, a live build somehow so i'm excited about that but let's get into the um, the printing part let's go to animation studio and just look at the parts all uh, take it apart like this and uh, we need to print these guys two parts this is the the idlers the idler brackets for lifting the bed and also these blue ones just some corner brackets you can use i mean if you have some 20 20 corner brackets you can use them or you can print these so let's just print them go to cura and find the parts let's go to let's go to weaking folder part print files we're going to C part files because this is part of the C assembly and we want uh, yeah it's not so easy to, to know what we want uh, we want the bed idler bracket and the bed idler support first so those are what we want and these guys should print uh, with the limited support let us just turn them the right way so let's flip them 90 degrees both of them like this so arrange like this this is what you want and you want two of each uh, and yeah there are some support needed here up in the nut slot as usual so let's just keep the support on like uh, let me see we don't need a brim here um support 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 generate support there we go and prepare and uh, as usual use three perimeters and about 30 percent infill you'll be fine let's have a look this is not three perimeters but use what i say not what i show and you're fine so yeah just support some support here that's all and let's do the the L brackets so bed profile L bracket open if you want to print them those are I use them myself so uh, I can recommend them just put them on the side like this and they should print without support <coughs> let us see in the layer view yeah well yeah you can just turn off the support here and you're good and you need four of that one so multiply one three like this okay that's let's assemble something and first of all you want to slide in the v slots into the c carriers and again we want to take these nuts inside the v slot I, I can't do that right now so you want to place the nuts inside the v slot before you slide it in so let's slide this one in like that so this is what it should, should look like when you have the nuts and the bolts and everything in place and it's not so important if it's a little bit off center that's okay I mean uh, try to get it as center as possible but it's not like a huge uh, big deal so let's do the second one so restore home like this then we have something and then 
let's assemble this guy before we attach it. Uh, let's go to the bed idler SC like this. This is this is our parts. So we have the brackets and we have again we have these shims. Those are important. Again, they're very important. So and then there are smooth idlers. You need smooth idlers here. So put those in place and uh, shims again. And then we have the support. Uh, you need this to make it rigid. And then of course the bolts and the washers. Like this. And then you should have the lock nuts in place. And tighten those. And the idler should run smooth, you know, yeah. And then we could just attach uh, or I mean uh, place these uh, bolts and uh, T-nuts um, because we need them. So let's, uh, let's just close this one and go to the frame. So uh, something happened here. Okay, let's place this back in place like this. And now there there's a little bit importance about uh, the placement of uh, these guys. So again, you can use uh, T nuts, but then you you should slide them in. Now I'm already late. You should should slide them in before attaching this guy. Uh, or you can use hammer nuts as well for in this place. That's fine. Then you can just uh, yeah hook them in. So let's place that one like this. And this is important the placement of this. And this the center of this screw should be in the center of this frame. So the distance from the center of the bolt to this extrusion should be the same as this, this way. That's important. So make sure you do that. And then let's do the other side like this, the same procedure. And then let's just drop down these uh, extrusions like this and you want to place these extrusions you can place let us just measure everything because i don't remember so let's measure it let's just wait for fusion okay so let's inspect this guy and measure from the outside to the inside we have 75 millimeter or 95 outside if you want you can do it just double check but it should be 95 yes 95 so do you have that from the outside of the extrusion to the outside frame 95 millimeter I have no idea in inches so we have some lag yeah and it's the same on the other side 95 from the outside 75 from the inside and then we place these corner brackets we just printed uh, as per normal with uh, some uh, t-nuts or some uh, slot nuts hammer nuts whatever and you want this is not so important either but these extrusions are a little bit longer that they need to so they can be a little bit out they should be a little bit outside I think it we have two and a half we have five millimeter outside so yeah the same on the other side So that's all I wanted to do now. Uh, I'm not sure how long time we use, but 
I want to keep these these clips short so you doesn't you don't get bored and uh, you have something to look forward to so next video let's place the bed support or the bed brackets and the bed and then uh, I think um, we can start print something soon <laughs> I hope okay thanks for watching have a good one